we are busy with common fractions and more in particular we are busy with division of common fractions uh, exercise 13.6 we will use that to illustrate this further for number one we have to calculate check your answers using calculate I'm not going to worry too much about that my focus is more on the actual maps we have seen in our previous lesson as soon as we see a division sign we can in fact change it to a multiplication sign so this is still um, the it is still applying this process here so we could say that we have three fours but now instead of division we have the multiplication sign we pay a price as soon as we change the sign so now the three go upstairs the two come downstairs and now we are back to normal multiplication so we can multiply tops we can multiply bottoms there isn't anything that I can see that any factors that can cancel so tops 3 times 3 is 9 bottoms 4 times 2 is 8 this is an improper fraction the top or the numerator is larger than the bottom or the denominator so we ask how many times can 8 go into 9 yes once what is the remainder well we have 8 we need another one to get 9 so the remainder is one that's always at the top we always keep the bottom the same so this is now a mixed fraction we have the whole part and we have the fraction portion number C we have now 4 and a tenth divided by 2 but remember we said most of the time as soon as we see a mixed fraction it's best to change it to a improper fraction so let's first do that so what is our approach take the whole number multiply it by the denominator or the bottom one so we have 4 times 10 and then we still have to add the numerator or the top part we always keep the denominator or the bottom part the same so I'm going to put all of this in brackets divide change now to multiply but as soon as we multiply we need to swap around now here's an invisible bottom stairs because 2 divided by 1 is simply 2 so now the 1 needs to go upstairs and the 2 come downstairs so now we can just simplify a bit so 4 times 10 is 40 we still add 1 so we have 41 in fact over 10 we multiply by a half It doesn't seem 10 can, can't go into 41 without the remainder, 2 can't go into 41 without the remainder, so we can't really factor, cancel factors. So we will have to multiply top stairs, 41 times 1 is 41, multiply bottom, 10 times 2 is 20. 41 is bigger than 20, so it is an improper fraction. Let's change into a mixed fraction as we started off. So 20 goes into 41 twice. 2 times 20 is 40. We still need 1. The remainder of 1 is at the top. We always keep the bottom the same. So it's the same as 2 and 1 20th. It's a mixed fraction. We have the whole number 2. We have the fraction portion 1 over 20. Okay, so you try number D. I'm going to give you a little bit of time.
the first hint is change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction okay, so let's follow the first hint let's just save change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction so how do we do it? We take the whole number, multiply it by the bottom number or the denominator, add the top one or the numerator. Always keep the denominator the same. Let's just put it in brackets. So we have 9 elevenths. When we divide, we can now, in fact, change the sign to multiply. But what happens is what is downstairs go upstairs. What's upstairs come downstairs. What is that? 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 6 plus 8, which is 10. And now we can multiply tops, we can multiply bottoms. I don't see any factors that can cancel. 11 is prime, 3 is prime, so they won't cancel. 10 can't go into 9 without remainder. So let's multiply tops. 9 times 3, 27. 11 times 10, 110. Can't think of anything that can divide into 110 and in 27 without remainder. So this is in fact our final answer. Number two. How many thirds are there in one seven? No, we could easily change it to how many thirds are there in one to make it easier. Because if we have a whole, which is one, we can divide it into thirds. Mm, yeah, my drawings now a bit. Let's just get my eraser. Somehow I have to divide something into thirds, something like this. So you have a whole pizza, you divide it into thirds. So how many thirds can go into a whole pizza? Three thirds. So we, so how did we get it? Well, we take the 1, we divide it into 3. So if we change this question to how many thirds are there in 1, we would take the 1, divide it by... Um, no, divide it by a third and we will get 3. So now, let's just change this so that we actually, instead of 1, take a 7th and divide it by a third. So now we know when we see a division sign, we can change it to a multiplication, but then downstairs go upstairs, upstairs go downstairs. We can multiply tops. 1 times, a th times 3 is 3, bottom 7 times 1 is 7. So there are 3 sevenths, 3 seven of thirds in 1 7. The other way you could have approached this is you could say 1 third 
how many thirds are there in a seven so we need the answer of a seven how many so if there were two thirds you would multiply one third by two if there were three thirds you would multiply a third by three so you could say the third by how many do you have to multiply where we don't know the how many so let's call it x to get the seven then again you'd say we only want x not x divided by three so how do we get rid of this three we have to multiply by three so that they can so what we do to the left we have to do to the right so also have to multiply by three and then we get the same answer so <clears throat> that's another way of approaching it <coughs> number three what what must you <coughs> what must you multiply one fifth with to get five twos so one fifth multiplied by what let's call the what x must equal 5 over 2 we can rewrite this as 1 fifth times x we know multiply you can just write the letter next to the number it still means multiply by convention we only want x so how do we get rid of this 5 we multiply by 5 <laughs> so that it cancel out so what we do to the left we do to the right now we can mu <laughs> multiply tops 5 times 5 is 25 we have 2 at the bottom 2 goes how many times into 25 12 and a half times 2 goes into 12 times into 24, remainder of 1 over the bottom 2, yes, 12 and a half times. <coughs> so your task is exercise 13.6 number 1B.